And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shivana. Going to be our first of three rank up Sunday decks today. We're going to be playing a deck that's going to be pretty similar to the Shivana Dragons deck I played uh, a couple of weeks ago, or like right after uh, Shivana was buffed with the Fury. Um, I built a Shivana Dragon deck to show off the power of the Fury with Shivana. And that deck was really good. And so I was kind of planning on playing that one today. Um, but uh, Cabo is a, um, a viewer here in stream who has been playing an, another version of it a lot recently and having a lot of success with it. So I'm going to be going with this one. Um, basically, the, the difference here is that I, I played like Radiant Guardian and then tried to go bigger with more Eclipse Dragons and Aurelian Souls and bigger dragons like that. But instead, um, he's using Jarvan. Which, you know, Jarvan's pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, having that in the mid game, and then just some of the smaller dragons White Flame Protector, Fused Firebrand. Because you really want to make sure that you can curve out and not miss a beat. Since, since we're skipping turn three already, we really want to make sure that we can um, have some have some dragons right away at turn four, turn five. So, like, if, if we have a hand that does not have Shivana, we really want the White Flame Protector, for example. Or if we don't have a Screeching Dragon, we need that Fused Firebrand. So that makes sense. These dragons are, are pretty good, and their um, Dragon Chow just makes them a lot big, a lot better. Because if we have Dragon Chow early, uh, we talked about the Fury with the Shivana making Shivana really big. Well, the same works for White Flame Protector, because if you play Protector on turn 4, it's now going to be a 5-5 five -five with the Fury. Of course, we do have the Herald of Dragons that can even speed us up, so maybe we can even do it on turn 3 if we can go Chow into Herald into Protector. We can have a 5-5 a five -five Fury on turn three and that's pretty awesome but i definitely want to make sure to keep all the fight spells I, as we talked you know i talked a lot about this last time is that the fight spells go so well with these furious dragons so we got three single combat three strafing strike and two concerted strikes lots of fight spells so they can grow with the fury um uh, he's going i i played like one repost and one um golden ages you know just some different four mana spells that you know could have some some big impact but he's going guiding touch and i think that makes sense it's just cheaper it cycles it draws a card um and then you know it has a, a good impact since we're going to be having our larger dragons and they're going to be fighting and everything that heal too could be nice and it's just a, a nice little card against some bird decks too to help you stay alive so that's kind of cool too all right but anyway let's give it a try jarvan shivana i know we got an aurelian soul still in here but it's you know it's hard to name the deck like jarvan shivana aurelian soul we're just calling it jarvan shivana close enough we're gonna go play our five games in rank so we're starting with 30 lp today let's see how much we have at the end of the day after these 15 games hey what's up jordan all right we got some lissandra trundle I like the uh, Spell Shield with the Fused Firebrand. I'm not sure that means that I keep it, though, because it is still just a 5-mana dragon, and we have just a, a variety of dragons. So let's look for an earlier start. Okay. All right, just some little dragon chow. I hope we just get to attack and deal three. I don't want them to play out Rose's Sentry. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Seems like they, my opponent with this deck always have Avarose and Sentry, and that card is always so good. The fight just without you, Anna. I am always here when you need me. It was right on my tail! They are nothing. Ready the torches. Okay. So Shivana has dealt eight damage so far. Just basically needs to strike one more time to level up. Just play the fused firebrand to open attack with that, with it being you know five 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 five. You know, well, I guess this will turn into six six. Those will be larger than the trundle. Like if I play screeching dragon, it's not larger than the trundle. You got a problem? Uh. 
Okay, so this strikes, levels it up. Yeah, I can't really. All right. There are none like me. Strafing Strike is good. Just a way for me to maybe kill the Trundle. Single combat would be that as well. But I want to play Eclipse Dragon. I think we will. They only have two mana. to zero. I'm not even sure if this is the best challenge. Okay, there we go. Put some down to zero. We'll take it. Alright, we got mirror-ish match. Shivana really in soul. So I'm wondering if like our dragons are going to be a little smaller or not. Yeah, so this is a, a great hand, perfect curve. We're just going to keep it all. Um, sharp Sight's just always useful. All right, got some dragon chow. That's too bad. Ready weapons. Yeah, that's too bad. We wear red to honor the fallen. Okay, so they have, what, single combat, right? Yeah. So if I play Sharp Sight... Yeah, it's it's just worth Sharp Sight. And it just keeps my thing alive and kills their Dragon Chow. Try to kill their dragon chow again. Oh, Herald of the Dragons is like my worst draw right now. Well, good news is we can't draw Herald of the Dragons anymore. Bad news is we keep drawing Herald of the Dragons. This is not a very good Jarvan turn. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I guess we just hit him for 11. I will fight for Demacia till the day I die. Mold the earth. 
light just isn't the same without you, Lana. I am always here when you need me. That's good. That protects against judgment. Very happy to see that. Good draw. Do they actually have judgment? All right, much better for me. Double concerted strike. All right, having both of our dragon strike help level up Shivana and you know Fury. And there we go. Two no. Even drawing those double Herald of Dragons didn't do anything. That was a clutch concerted strike draw for sure. Alright, Lulu Shen. With Demacia. So I think Egghead Researcher can go. Just keep the lieutenant. I don't know. Researcher's fine. I'm not sure about that. Wait on Dragon Chow. Yeah, because they play like. If I just play this on turn one, then they play like, I don't know, War Chefs here. Or the other two mana. Yeah, Young Witch. Those would have been bad. Would have just got killed. That's not a great trade for me, but I could kill. Yeah, I could have just challenged both the two ones. Maybe that was the thing to do. I kind of figured. Yeah, actually made that. Yeah, I guess that was maybe the thing to do. Is just let the young witch slime. Because I think they're maybe playing like Lulu or Shen first before attacking. Like they weren't going to open attack to kill the the uh, dragon chow. And so it give me time, you know, like I, I felt like I was going to be able to play something here first, play the protector to be able to eat the chow first. I've got your back. Nature blesses her followers. All right, so let's get, let's get the Shivana level up started. All right, I like seeing that guiding touch. I'll help heal a Shivana that takes damage, but it's likely the lieutenant's going to die. Cool. All right, so no sharp sight in hand for them. If they had sharp sight, they were certainly attacking. Now let's go with protector, so that then I keep guiding touch. Okay, so. All right, so we're going big, they're going wide. This is going to be a close game. It's going to be interesting. Feel the sizzle. Yeah, they don't have the easiest attack of like figuring out exactly how they want to do this. They're gonna make Fleet Feather Tracker a 4 4 and challenge White Flame Protector, maybe? No. Okay. They're just going maximum damage output. Just 
You have guiding touch. So they have repost. This thing is real scary with repost. Me going down to four. So sharp side over there. I go down to four. All right, so I feel pretty good about this game now. Killing two things. So this looks like we have this from here. Jarvan and Shivana fighting side by side to take down a bunch of little Masi and Ionia units. GGs. Ooh, this is where I thought that we were gonna struggle is, is maybe against like the fast aggro. We are a little slow, but uh, so, you know, we'll have to see. I don't have any Radiant Guardian or anything like that. We do have our fight spells. Anyway, with our hand, I'm gonna just keep all these cards. They're pretty good. Seven mana card is not our best draw. I'll fully admit that. Man, they did it. They had vision. Wow. Vision's rough. Alright, so obviously this block's here. I guess I just block. I kind of want to use Strafing Strike with Shivana, but maybe I just use Strike now. now. I guess, yeah, I guess we just use it now, don't we? Because, like, I say for life, but, like, they still keep their other thing alive. They still keep their 3-1 alive. I am more. They play the card Jinx. Suffer my fury. arms. Oh, it is a great day for a reckoning. You tell me. What's the fire breath this time? Hmm? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. This game's not over. We haven't lost yet. Make it more difficult. I 
Gonna make it more difficult. Yeah, that's quite a hand. <laughs> cool. Yeah, quite a hand. I right, slip seven. My pl my opponent played that all perfectly too. They did a great job, like playing the using the vision, like before letting me block and everything like that first turn that was a great decision because I just wasn't going to block so that dealt a lot more damage to me um yeah they, they did play that perfectly ggs okay Diana and Aphelios Man, I like Strafing Strike, and Strafing Strike can be just, like, super important for killing an Aphelios. But I want more of the mid-game. Okay. So we do have the attack token turn 4. Which is when we're going to be able to play Screeching Dragon with Challenger. not play um, Shivana, or sorry, Screeching Dragon with Challenger this turn. Next turn, but I will have the single combat to try to kill Aphelios. Two cost follower. So I'm doing this to make it a little bit more difficult. I want to do it right now, make it a little bit more difficult for them to play a second spell to get the moon weapon, but alright, so they were able to do that. So they just grabbed two moon weapons that unto dusk. Unto dusk is awesome. Yeah, and then refill the spell man with that thing. That's pretty good. Well, you know, three plus three, they get to kill the White Flame Protector. But it did, you know, trade with a bunch of cards. All sorts of cards that, have, you know, basically the Felios created for free, but it was a lot of cards, at least. We were peaceful. No, they, so they got a Moon Weapon with the Dusk, and they also, then Aphelios also created Moon Weapon for the Dusk being the second card for turn, and then Dusk also drew a card. So the, the Unto Dusk got them three cards, got them two Moon Weapons, and drew them a card. All right, so I have twice as many cards in hand as I do. And the three extra mana. They gonna go Calibrum on my little Dragon Chow. They forced us to choose death or the blade. I guess that answer is no. Pale Cascade is almost a, you know, it's a very, very high probability. You know, that or 
I guess Unspeakable Horror a little bit less, but like those kind of cards. Very high probability. Alright, so these two together are going to be the same... They have 10 cards in hand, so if they also pass, they burn the top card. Alright, so this is a star shaping card. Those two are the same type of card. There's the first Pale Cascade. These are the same followers. That's the star shaping card. One of these two is the moon weapon. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Trying to keep track of all these cards. Down to so that's them taking 14. Ruination is certainly a possibility. If I let them play something else, they're just gonna play the like probably play like the ephemeral blocker. So they're down to six. Okay, so that means the third card's the moon weapon. Alright, so moon weapon, follower, follower, celestial card. I don't know, I don't know, celestial card. You tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me! Diana's quality. Basically, two mana screeching dragon with quick attack. Oh, Jarvan dying? Okay. So they have Pell Cascade in hand. It turns Diana into being a 6 4. So single combat plus sharp sight won't save any of these things. But it forces them to, to play that at least. Could play the Eclipse Dragon first, but I want to play the Eclipse Dragon second. Alright, so that's 7 3. So yeah, like that just trades. Got that on two desk out of their hand. Got them spending a lot of mana. So I'm sure they're scared of sharp sight for as far as attacking goes. If I play my lieutenant, okay, I guess they're not. There we go. They may we don't know what was in their hand. Like they may have been in the spot like where they kinda had to make that attack and try to had to get the damage in. Or I didn't just hope that I didn't have sharp sight, I guess. I'm you know, we don't know. Yeah, so there we go. Four one. Very nice. So uh four one, very good record to start off our rank up Sunday. Uh definitely felt like a really good deck. We ran into a discard burn that was pretty tough. Um but yeah, I think this this worked well. I was wondering how you know, going a little bit smaller with White Flame Protector, Firebrand, and then even, you know, even Jarvan to an extent, going with those kind of cards instead of going, you know, like three Eclipse Dragon, three Aurelian Soul, like going big with those things, how how uh, the Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul combo is really popular with these decks. But I think this worked out well. I think you saw us kind of go underneath a lot of the other late game Targon decks. We went underneath a, a Demacia Targon deck and, you know, a, a different version of Shivana Aurelian Soul and then that last one going underneath the Nightfall deck, you know, had like their star shapings and all their late game stuff and, you know, ended the game with nine cards in hand. And so like that's, I think that actually did a pretty good job of, of um, you know, just putting out some large units faster. I think that's what, that's what we were doing. 
And Fury is just a really good keyword. I think our deck takes really good advantage of the Fury keyword. Even a card like White Flame Protector, you know, like play your Dragon Chow first. It's now a 5 5. And that's that's a really good body. And then once you use a fight spell or once it kills something in combat, you know, 6 6 and so on. And so, like, that's a difficult body to deal with. So I, I liked this. I liked going smaller. And uh, I think it worked out quite well. And it, and it did. Usually, usually when you play like uh, mid range mirror ish matches, like we did with the other Siobhan really in Soul deck, usually the deck that goes bigger is the deck that wins because like all the early stuff kind of trade off because you're playing the same kind of cards. And so then whoever has the, the better late game, um, this is just, you know, a very generic speak. Um, usually they have the success. But we were playing different cards, and our diff our different cards, like in the in the mid game, they weren't just trading off. Ours were staying alive and hitting for a lot of damage, and so it allowed us to outrace our opponents and, and not let them, you know, have time to play their really in souls and stuff like that. All right, but anyway, that's Jarvan Shivan. I guess we also got that really lucky top deck concerted strike <laughs> in that matchup that did help finish the game because without that concerted strike we maybe would have lost if we didn't draw drew that at, at the time. All right, but yeah, so that's Jarvan Shivana. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. I know a lot of y'all have wanted to put Jarvan and Shivana together. Maybe give this one a try, see how it goes for you. Um, and then let me know over there in the comments. I can also see playing a third Concerted Strike these days with a lot of people playing these kind of dragon decks. Concerted Strike is just really good in these dragon mirrors and stuff. And it was, we drew Concerted Strike in a couple of games that it was quite good. So I could see playing a third copy of one of those. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how, but I'm just saying I could. All right, but anyway, uh, maybe over like Egghead Researchers. I don't know, the Egghead Researchers didn't really help too much, but they're supposed to be in there for aggro. But we don't really face aggro, except for the one game that we lost. <laughs> so maybe we need more egghead researchers. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, leave those comments, all that kind of stuff. But All right, so thank you so much for watching. So I'm Jarvan Shivana, and I'll see you for the next video.